Westchester head coach Ed Azam addressing his players and Tate George obviously a lot of the focus on LeBron James but who guards him tonight? Well Trevor Reed also how about the message the message from the coach and, and, and here you see Trevor committed to UCLA. He's going to have the, that task to plan, but they seem ready. And see, what, what I liked about with the guy is still that in his team as well. Starting lineups and the opening tip off just moments away. LeBron James is back on the floor. We're back in a moment. For LeBron James and the St. Vincent St. Mary basketball team as they get set to take on Westchester High School out of Los Angeles, St. Vincent St. Mary, the top ranked team in the country, gentlemen. But Westchester ranked at number seven, and we've talked about it over the last few days. This is a team not easily intimidated. They really think that they can win this game tonight. Well, they knocked off the number two ranked team in the country in Fairfax two weeks ago, so trying to make it two weeks straight, knocking off a higher ranked opponent. How are you going to handle Handle your team. You can't get a coaching. Uh, there he comes out. Listen to this roar. About 500 fans have made the seven-hour bus ride from Akron, Ohio. They've even 440-mile trek. They've even got the handshake down. Oh yeah. We got to work on that at halftime. <laughs> LeBron James, also a very experienced team with the four senior starters. Everybody wants an opportunity to get a chance to play against LeBron James. Why not? And you notice that the the tattoos being covered on the, I guess Ohio rules, the, the, the administration or the committee tells you that you can't show tattoos, so they, they have the patches on. And wow, well, we're set to jump it up. It is Romeo Travis, a 6'6 forward, against Marcus Johnson, also at 6'6. The number one ranked high school team of the country against number seven in Westchester. Marcus Johnson trying to find a teammate. Ariza, but his pass knocked out of bounds. Last touched by the Fighting Irish. And LeBron James trying to make his presence felt on the defensive end right off the bat. That's the thing. Sometimes people question how good of a defender is he. Well, one thing's for sure. He's such a good athlete that when he concentrates at that end of the floor, he can be just as dominant defensively as offensively. Again, another turnover. And here is Ariza in the open floor. And the emphatic two-handed stuff by Trevor Ariza. Chester High School. Here's Ariza down the lane. And he banks it home. Good-looking dribble drive by Trevor Ariza. Now they give it to LeBron James. Turns and faces just inside the yard. And the first bucket on the night for LeBron James. And we get a whistle. It will be St. Vincent basketball. Sizing up. Knocks down the 18-footer because he, he wants to put on a show. You see Reese playing off of him. You got to get out and challenge James. He knocks down back-to-back -back deep shots on the left wing. And that's a three-point field goal for LeBron James. A quick five points for him. It's competitive. 7-0 run for the Fighting Irish. And Spiro, his competitive nature. He's talking to the guy who's guarding him. Round, lazy pass, trying to find Cutley. It's taken by James. Attacks. Wow. And a gorgeous dribble drive and finish with the right-handed finger roll. I mean, look at his look at his head once he gets the ball. I mean, he is going up. And good patience out on the break, too. He didn't rush it. He allows the defender to run by, and then there's a pull-up elbow jumper by Johnson off the mark. And LeBron James averages better than 10 rebounds per night. Now you start settling in, having to play basketball. And LeBron James left open. He's looking for a yeah. challenge. Did you see him go right out of reason? Well, he's looking for the challenge. He said, on you. Great players, like much like Michael Jordan, they look for the challenge when they're out there on the floor. LeBron James with 10 very quick points. And he gets his feet underneath him. Nice looking stroke right there. You see him come right out of Reza saying, you're going to have to come out and guard me. From the floor, who wants to step up and face him on that level? And right now, he's searching. And anyone who guards him, they're going to have to understand that he's going to come right at him. He feeds James in the corner. Turns and faces on Cutley. Wants to take it. Little shake and bake. Back to the basket. James tied up, falling away. And a reaching foul called. Ron, very ambidextrous, uses both hands. He's a guy, of course, shoots right-handed, but he eats and writes with his left hand. How about this right here? Gets him on a hand, able to gather himself back up. 
One of the things you talk about LeBron, I think what mesmerized everyone now is the Kobe Bryant who came before him kind of went under the radar. He got the ability to put the ball on the floor. He's long enough to fit body. Yep, they look just a lot. Just not as thick and strong as James. And speaking of being strong, James just fights through his defender and taken by Travis. James one-on-one -on -one into the lane and a right-handed finger roll finish. Wow. Any defense. James in the backcourt. Down to two seconds. James has to fire it up. And he banks it home. How do you allow him to get the ball? Well, he came to watch LeBron James and eight minutes complete. He caps off the first quarter with a buzzer beating a three-pointer. He has 18 points. Your second best player throughout the season, showing you why. And there is Trevor Ariza. Now James back to the basket. Oh. Into the lane. Right-handed finish. Thomas. The thing that amazes you, he never disappoints, huh? <laughs> All this stuff going on, stepping up 20 points already. Doing it outside and also showing you he can go get it done inside as well. And the playgrounds, you know what they, they describe him? He's for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is the truth. Jonathan Tolliver, James, thought about it. Pulls up. He's off the mark, but he was hacked in the act. And so LeBron James to the free throw line with 6.24 left to play in this opening half. Making big time plays. LeBron James, a guy free, dribbles top of the arc. Jones left open, a three pointer. Now LeBron James. Works one-on-one -on -one against a reason. Pull-up jumper outside. It's a two-point field goal. Boy, he's been impressive from the perimeter. Nine-point cushion. Jumps it down low. Oh! <laughs> well, that's what they all came to see, the athleticism of LeBron James. 25 points for LeBron James. His last bucket on uh, that put-back attempt. Son. LeBron James, not your average 18-year-old, showing his talents on the national stage here tonight. And then you see him here, jump shot after jump shot. What I like, when he takes the jump shot, he stays in the flow with the shot. And then here, at the extension, he glides by people out in the open floor. Hey, if you need a three-pointer at the buzzer from 40 feet, I can do that too. Underneath. He has it all. I mean, he really has it all. Away. We talked about his teammates sometimes creating a cocoon and keeping him inside. Oh, he's yeah, angry. Yeah, he's yeah. coming back with a vengeance and he's trying to prove something to everybody, including everyone in the building. Here's James. A call. Oh, no. That's good. That's not fair. He's a little riled up and taking it out on Westchester right now. And over its head right now. Watch this. Left hand, step back, fall away. Uh, so he finishes. And what I like is the emotion. You know, he, he doesn't allow the crowd to stop him from being who he is. He... An electrifying first half performance. I'll stand up and give him an applause for that. <laughs> By 18-year-old LeBron James, 31 points in 16 minutes of action. In half as they had to start the game. Oh! <laughs> More showtime. LeBron James soaring through the air as he jams it home. Will be Westchester basketball after the turnover. Better find that guy because you can throw it as high as you want. Talk about alley oops. He'll go wherever you're going to put it. See, Jones, Jones is coming up, but normally, you see, when you, you, you're used to coming and stopping the. His head was about a foot over the rim. Here we uh -oh. go. Look at the crowd. Oh. <laughs> Did you see the entire building stand up at one time? It's up. <laughs> back to back jams by LeBron James. And this place is speechless right now. They got his mom. Back to back. Here it is again. Look at how high he gets up. The floor. Flight two, three. 37 for LeBron James. By Gerard Moret. Here's James going to the left hand. By Scott Cutler. Oh. The no look offering by LeBron James. Spent the last 10 minutes in the air. LeBron oh. falling away. Maybe he's not that tired. <laughs> Nearly lost it, stays with it. And he puts it down with the left hand. And that total, one-on-one, -on -one, jump stop. Wow. Wow. He's
he's amazing himself. Yeah, oh. it against Marcus Johnson. James up and under, absorbs the contact. And a blocking foul called. All that notoriety, everybody looking at him. That is just simply amazing. James down low, lays it up and in very gently with both hands. 49 points for LeBron. And he's touching the ball every time down. James wants more, falling away along the baseline, is bumped and fouled in the act. A lot of yellow and it matters. James guarded by McClinton, huh. falling away baseline, and why not? And he has now surpassed his career high, 52 points for LeBron James.